that it is about 7 a.m. on me first morning. Got the boat in, everything's good. Boat 155 today, got a 545 check-in. I don't think I've ever fished till 545 in a tournament. Realistically, that puts us fish until about 430 with the 50-mile uh, run. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna run down, crank it up, and see what happens. I'd be okay with anything in the teens. I'd be happy with anything in the upper teens. Boat 155, I hope I just have a good stretch to start on. Figure out something to start on. It'll sure. have to be at least a stretch of it. That'll be perfect. You think? Absolutely. All right. It is really cold. It is really wet. Probably about 40 degrees right now. I got one in the box. Four more to go. Let's earn it. All right, camera got a little waterlogged. I've caught two smallmouth in the past. 30 minutes. It has stopped absolutely pouring. Also had a little spot. He got four for around nine pounds right now. Need a couple more bites. Well, we made it back in. Very disappointing day. Got a limit for, what do you think it goes? 10 pounds? Got a limit for about 10 pounds. Oh man. It's a long ride in cold weather and rough. Could have gone bad, could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot worse. We both got fish, so wait a minute and see what we got. Well, in all honesty, that was probably one of the top five toughest days I've ever had on the water. <clears throat> Rode 120 miles in the Bass Cat. Caught five keepers with a 12-inch spotter bass with 20 minutes left. Soaked absolutely everything. Ruined one GoPro. And looks like I'll be somewhere. They're still weighing in. It's like pitch black out. I'm getting gas. They're still weighing in. It looks like I'll be in the top 40-something. Uh, right now I'm 37, but they still got guys to weigh in. So uh, out of 190 boat fields, so I survived day one. I think 10 pounds tomorrow gets me a check. It's going to be 20 something in the morning. So I am getting gas now because it's going to be freezing. I'll have the Hydronaut gloves on probably all day and the Hydronaut suit and the new beanie with the little flappy ears. So I guess I can't complain. All right, day two of the Costa Championship. The rain and wind has been replaced by cold weather. It's going to be sunny later on. Got an early bow draw today. 37 is our number, which coincidentally was my number one year in hockey when I played for the Cincinnati Cobras. So maybe that'll be good luck. Right, we just got done with the national anthem. We got Will today. Will is the first person I've ever met who lives in New Hampshire. That's correct. He's actually sitting in seventh place, correct? Eighth. Eighth place. Try to give you a bonus spot there. <laughs> and uh, 
I ended up not too bad. I mean, you saw what practice was like, and I thought it would be gangbusters, but that front moved through and it killed, so I salvaged the day. I ended up catching a little 12 and a half inch spot at the end of the day that really did me a lot of good. Weighed in 11.2, and as a result, out of the 190 plus boats, I'm in 38th place. So right now I'm in a check range. This cloud cover holds on for an hour. I think I might be able to get a couple of those bigger smallies first thing in the morning, and then it is drop shot. We have a 4.15 check-in, so it's early. So fish the whole year on the Costa Series with the AFCO Bass Boot Camp. Started off at Amistad, finished up the regular season at Lake of the Ozarks. Six tournaments, a lot of ups and downs, and 15-pound bag today would make it all worth it and put me in the top 10 in the Costa Championship. I do not want this to be the last day of the 2019 Costa season. So I'm going to go out, put together everything I've learned over the year, and see if we can't make it happen. Third cast of the morning, baby. <laughs> Barely hooked. I was really disappointed in yesterday. Frickin' two three and a halves in the first. It's 9.07, we took off at 8, I'm 50 miles away, so. My heart's pumping, like this is the stuff you absolutely live for. I gotta get three more. Get him, get him, get him, get him. 
Thank you. Large mouth. Big large mouth. Nice. Big large mouth. Oh. Big large mouth. <laughs> Bonus largey. Well, it is about 10.30 in the morning and I just caught my limit fish, about a 12 and a half inch spotted bass, but four of them on the rock crawler. So I don't know why they're chewing today and they didn't yesterday, but I'll take it up. So I probably got 12, 12 something. So pretty much anything, any 15 inch is a massive upgrade with that 12 inch spot, but it feels good to get a limit. I mean, yesterday I really had to grind and didn't get a limit till about 20 minutes before I had to check in so be able to calm down now and the next big bite puts me in really good shape and then um, anything after that I'll pretty much have to catch a three pounder to coal. So. Well, it's about uh, 3 15, 4 15 check in, about 45 minutes from the launch ramp. So, gonna go ahead and uh, roll in just a little bit early, get it. I pulled them all out. I think I got around 15. I guess their port said it was really slow today. He had a good day. That'll play. I literally practiced for today for a day and a half. Because we had one day of the weather and I got lucky and I picked the right spot. So I saw what lived down there that you could catch when they were biting. And then I spent a day and a half trying to figure out how you could catch them when it's 30 degrees and slick calm. And it took me a day. I had one bad day of practice and then it took me a day and then that's where I figured it out. Now, if they're there tomorrow, who the hell knows? Hell yeah. So. Well, good, man. Well, good luck to you. Uh, tell Travis good luck as well, man. Uh, we'll look forward to watching you guys on live tomorrow. All right. It is 8 o'clock-ish. And just like at Sam Rayburn, I have no room. Fortunately, Travis yes. made the cut with me. 
We're in. Travis is in ninth. I'm in third, about almost four pounds behind Andrew Upshaw. Um, got a room here at the Holiday Inn Express. I literally have not eaten anything today. Nothing. No breakfast, no lunch, no dinner. So we're gonna go get something to eat. Gonna take in a couple of the rods that I have here. Put some new gammies on some rock crawlers. And see what's up. I also just threw all my clothes in a giant bin because I thought I was not thinking clearly. So I have to figure out if I can find something to wear tomorrow. FLW Live, the whole nine yards, so it'll be fun. Won't it, Travis? Won't yes, it be fun? But we gotta get organized. All right, we're out. Well, it is past nine o'clock, and uh, we're in a fog delay. Big, big. Big Molly. Big Molly. Big Molly. No, no, no! Yeah! Can I get a ride on, I don't know if they'll make it. I don't know. I'll tell you, they better haul ass. Yeah, they better do all they can do and then some. Yeah.